What's up everyone? Today's video topic involves one simple song. Here, here, here we go. But a not so simple treatment of the song. It's always a crappy feeling when you don't get credit for your artwork. I know I'm, uh, you know, guilty of posting memes on Twitter, forgetting who made them, trying to be better about it. But when it comes to the bigger picture of a multi-million dollar studio or multi-billion dollar studio, it could be a bit more costly than that. Such is the case what happened with the Mario movie. So right here, you see Seth Rogen uh, doing a bit of a marketing piece advertising for the Mario movie, uh, detailing specifically the DK rap. So let's give it a quick look. In the history of video game soundtracks, one song towers above all. This is the DK rap. This is how my character comes out in the movie, is to the Donkey Kong rap. This is objectively one of the worst rap songs of all time. They're introducing the whole DK crew. I get it. Inflate himself, and then he farts out his... I don't remember a Kong that propelled himself through farting. This dance he's doing is actually kind of sick. Cranky Kong, take it to the fridge. This, this part of the song is actually good. Coca in that shows. There you have it, an iconic song, an iconic dance, an iconic crew, an iconic moment in time. 10 out of 10 bananas. Dude, <laughs> Seth Rogen is so done with this movie. <laughs> he was like, 10 out of 10 bananas. And they call that iconic, but we also call it one of the worst rap songs of all time. Okay, that's funny as fuck by itself. Um, however, what you should know is that the original song was made by Grant Kirkhope, one of the most popular game composers. You've probably heard his work from games like Banjo-Kazooie, another title made by Rare around the same time as Donkey Kong 64. Ever since it was revealed that the DK rap was in the Mario movie, Grant Kirkhope was super excited about it. I mean, wouldn't you be too? Your feature song, the, the silly rap you're famous for, featured in the biggest film of your career? Of course. He said right here, if you told me back in 97 when I wrote the worst rap track in the history of rap tracks that I'd go on to be in the Mario Bros. movie, I would have burst with excitement. Long live the DK rap. So a wholesome tweet right there. So you think, okay, good. We're bringing back old names. Everyone's happy. Uh, you get, you get the, people are getting their flowers, right? It's important to give people their flowers. Even if it's not money you're getting for it, giving your flowers is important. You know, it's appreciation in the age of social media. It goes a long way. However, as we know how these things go, didn't quite pan out about it. When the night of the movie came out, Grant Kirkhope made these two tweets. First tweet was this. Ominous. Well, that's fucking depressing. She's like, damn, what happened? I'm gonna like it too. And then of course, this NPC, Luis Diaz, who cares? Grant Kirkhope, about you, no one. Oh! Hate stupid NPCs. He said how depressing, right? And they're like, oh, what happened? What, what, what could possibly be so depressing? And it's this. I was really looking forward to see my name in the credits for the DK rap, but alas, as expected, it's not in their FML. That's right. If you want to go see the Mario movie this weekend, of course, there's a post credit scene, so everyone's into the credits. It shows all the songs, everything that's there, including, of course, the great Peaches, Peaches, Peaches by Jack Black, which is hilarious. On the DK rap, you would expect to see the word DK rap and then Grant Kirkhope's name because he made the whole song. And instead... Yeah. A whole bunch of nothing. Very, very weird. And I'm trying to understand why this would have happened. Was there a sample clearance issue? Was there... Did, did Nintendo not want to associate themselves with Grant Kirkhope anymore? Maybe Grant didn't have the right to this track. Maybe he gave up the rights to it. Whatever it might be, the fact that it wasn't there must have been a punch in the gut to Grant. As expected. I mean, he, 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 like literally... I don't know if maybe my editors can put it in, but when DK appears in the movie for the first time, when he's fighting Mario in the arena, it plays the literal DK rap. I think verbatim the version from DK64, not even re-recorded, maybe touched up a little bit, but that is the literal song that plays. 
So it's very, very weird why it's not there. This definitely happened, and you, it, the, the tweets are still alive, right? So all the songs in the credits have numerous people mentioned with them, like who wrote it, composed it. DK Rap is the only song that has nothing on it. However, since then, someone has started a petition because in this day and age, when you bully people enough, changes happen. That's right. We we'll go over here to the well-read mage. I saw a problem and thought, what can I do? I believe artists should receive credit, so I create a petition you can sign now regarding Grant Kirkhope. Being credited for the DK rep in the SMB movie, I hope Illumination and Nintendo America will see this sign here. So very, very good stuff from the well-read mage. I'm asking for help spreading around the petition for Grant Kirkhope. Artists should be credited for their work. Can you help share? Well, even though I'm not one of the people they tagged, um, I'm going to retweet it. You never know. If you go to the change.org page, of course, it is right there. Credit Grant Kirkhope for DKRAP in the Super Mario Bros. movie. As of the time of signing, it's got 673 signs right there. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and sign it. Give this man his flowers. Give him his flowers. Signed it. Anyways, guys, um, am I surprised Nintendo would do something like this? No. I'm not. I'm sure there's like, uh, there's like a, uh, there's, there's legal reasoning behind it. Usually when in the, in the case of this, there's like a legal precedent and they have to follow it and they kind of have no choice. But sometimes as we've seen, it's not really about legal precedents. It's more of a cultural issue or something. I don't know. Point is, it's, it's the most glaring omission in the credits of the entire movie. Um, and like I said, there you go. Juan Ibn was signed four and seconds ago. And like I said, if when, when, it, when it comes down to it, it's a movie. There's going to be a sequel for the movie. Maybe he'll be credited in that one. But this is a very big occasion. And a lot of these guys, they don't really work in video games anymore the way they used to. Or they're retired. Just artists in general. It's a lesson I learned as well. Artists bust their ass to make a living. Sometimes you hit it big, obviously. Sometimes you become a big composer. Uh, big name in graphic design or whatever I call it, but the vast 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 99.999% of artists Live penny to penny Working off commissions and their labor of love for what they do. So whenever you can share the artwork credit out the artist Don't be a meme stealer like me Do the good thing do the right thing. It goes much much further than you might think and of course credit the man who made the fucking DK round anyway that's all for right now. Let me throw in the comments. I'll see you next time.